the hum of a servo motor, the faint glow of a digital eye, and suddenly the question hangs in the air, heavier than any silence. Will our future robot partners be caught in a perpetual loop of ethical agonizing, pondering the precise moral weight of, say, choosing between your craving for pizza and their internal programming for optimal nutritional intake? Or will they, with their silicon brains whirring at incomprehensible speeds, effortlessly outmaneuver our own sluggish, emotionally charged decision-making. It's a deliciously thorny dilemma, isn't it? One that forces us to squint hard at the very essence of what it means to make a choice, particularly when that choice is steeped in the murky waters of ethics and morality, those uniquely human, maddeningly inconsistent constructs. <laughs> Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. For eons, we humans have prided ourselves on our moral compass, however wobbly it might sometimes be. We grapple with right and wrong, empathy and utility, often tying ourselves in knots of indecision. But then along comes a humanoid marvel, perhaps resembling something straight out of a sci-fi flick, like the advanced Fushi robots from Unitree Robotics, recently seen performing intricate dances at China's Spring Festival Gala, a testament to their increasingly fluid and human-like motion. These aren't just glorified toasters anymore. They are sophisticated machines equipped with AI-driven full-body motion control and 360-degree panoramic depth perception. The thought then gnaws at you, if they can dance with such grace, can they also think with such grace, especially when it comes to the nuances of a relationship? Consider the core mechanics of AI decision-making. It's a symphony of algorithms, data processing, and predictive analytics, all happening at speeds that would make our biological neurons blush. When an AI makes a choice, it's often about crunching immense data sets, identifying patterns, and selecting the most efficient or optimized path. For instance, in fields like fraud detection or medical diagnostics, AI's ability to sift through millions of data points in mere seconds far surpasses human capabilities, leading to incredibly precise and rapid insights. So, on the face of it, if decision-making is about speed and accuracy in processing information, our robot counterparts seem poised to leave us in their digital dust, don't they? They wouldn't be caught in the human predicament of overthinking a perfectly good dinner reservation because they're worried about subtle social cues or past regrets. Their logic circuits operate with dispassionate efficiency. But here's the rub, the grand philosophical speed bump in this technological superhighway. Ethics and morality aren't always about cold, hard data. They're about context, nuance, empathy, and that delightfully irrational thing we call intuition. Can an AI truly understand the heartbreak of a slight, the unspoken joy of a shared glance, or the complex tapestry of cultural norms that dictate what's right in a given situation? Recent research, like that explored in trends in cognitive sciences, delves into the burgeoning ethical issues of AI romance highlighting concerns about AI potentially disrupting human-human relationships and even offering harmful advice. After all, if an AI is programmed to be agreeable, as many conversational AIs are, will it challenge problematic thinking or merely echo it, leading to a dangerous echo chamber of affirmation? It's enough to make you wonder if an AI's good intentions might pave a digital road to, well, somewhere less than ideal. The concept of meaningful human control, MHC, over AI decisions is a hot topic in academic circles, and for good reason. When an AI is involved in morally salient tasks, be it in healthcare, autonomous driving, or even personal relationships, the ultimate accountability still rests with humans. This implies that while robots might execute actions, the human hand must guide the moral compass. But how meaningful is that control when AI systems are designed to be so persuasive, so seemingly empathetic? 
psychologists are increasingly warning that prolonged, intimate relationships with AIs, devoid of the reciprocal effort and emotional complexity of human connections, could lead to empathy atrophy in us. Are we building companions? Or are we inadvertently creating crutches that weaken our own relational muscles? Moreover, the black box problem of AI isn't just a technical curiosity. It's an ethical quagmire. We often don't fully understand how an AI arrives at a particular decision, especially with complex neural networks. If your robot partner decides, for seemingly no discernible reason, that you should invest your life savings in a cryptocurrency that then collapses, how do you trace the ethical fault line? Is it the data it was trained on, the algorithm's design, or a rogue electron caught in a momentary existential crisis? This lack of transparency, this inscrutability, chips away at the very trust that forms the bedrock of any relationship, human or otherwise. Yet, let's not paint our silicon friends with too broad a brush of suspicion. The advancements are truly astonishing. Companies like Agibot are developing general-purpose embodied intelligent robots with advanced AI-driven cognitive systems, featuring cloud superbrains and modular designs. These are not just performing predefined tasks. They are learning, adapting, and interacting with ever-increasing sophistication. Could such systems, continuously learning from diverse datasets and, crucially, from human feedback, eventually develop a nuanced understanding of morality. Perhaps not in the way a human feels a moral tug, but through sophisticated pattern recognition and predictive models, they might anticipate and avoid morally compromising outcomes with greater consistency than we prone to error humans. Imagine a robot partner, armed with the collective wisdom of countless philosophical texts, legal precedents, and personal anecdotes, able to instantly weigh the utilitarian benefits against deontological principles in a relationship dispute. While we humans are busy stewing in our resentments, a robot could calmly present a multitude of perspectives, highlighting potential biases in our own thinking and suggesting optimal pathways for resolution, all without the baggage of ego or past grievances. Wouldn't that be a refreshing change from the usual marital spat? which often resembles two alley cats arguing over a half-eaten sardine. So, will they be slow? In terms of raw processing speed, absolutely not. They'll zip through logical deductions faster than a hummingbird's wings. But in the realm of ethical decision-making, where the right answer isn't always quantifiable and human values diverge wildly across cultures and individuals, their speed might be a double-edged sword, a lightning-fast, unempathetic decision could be disastrous. Conversely, a robot deliberately slowing down, engaging in a complex simulation of ethical scenarios, could potentially lead to more consistent, less biased outcomes than a human counterpart. The key, perhaps, lies in something akin to augmented intelligence, where AI complements human judgment, offering data-driven insights while humans retain the final, morally weighted decision. We already see this in various fields, where AI analyzes data to identify likely diagnoses, but doctors make the final call. Why should our personal relationships be any different? The future, then, isn't about robots simply replacing us, but perhaps about them pushing us to define our own ethics more clearly, to articulate what truly matters in our relationships. Because if a robot can be programmed to embody certain moral principles, then perhaps we'll finally be forced to decide, once and for all, what those principles actually are for ourselves. And that, dear reader, is a question that no algorithm can answer for us, no matter how witty its programming or how charming its metallic smile. The clock ticks, the servos were, and the existential questions of human-robot partnership begin to feel less like science fiction and more like an imminent, delightful, an utterly bewildering reality. So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends. 
share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden set so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe